All right, so I'm going to show how to disassemble this uh, Gigabyte Aero 15 laptop. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. Um, it uses a T6 um, bit, which is not very common for most laptops. But yeah, you'll need a T6 um, screwdriver bit like this one. All right, so first thing you don't want to do, remove all the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So 13 screws, the one in the middle here, it stays there. Um, you can't actually remove it all the way. And then what you want to do is um, get your fingernails or a pry tool into the edge. So I like to go where like the SD card slot is. Um, but make sure you're not pulling on the SD card slot, just on the, the metal, this cover piece. So you pull on that, and then you kind of get your pry tool or your fingernail, and you just slide it in there. All right. And then as once you get like a part of it, it's a bit easier. You just go along and you just, as you're pulling it, you just slide your nail or pry tool under it in between the two layers and it will actually pop this out. Okay. So just like that. And then you'll see like each one, they'll have like the black area. You just do that where the case connects and pop the, the connector out. Okay. So just keep going along the the sides like that all right hopefully this is a close enough view for you to see what's going on but um yeah if you have a pry tool um i mean if you don't have a pry tool you might want to just let your nails grow out for a bit or something but yeah so there you go or you can just buy one but i find nails are better all right so just keep going around like that once you get all the clips out then you'll get the this thing will just pop off just like that. Okay, so you can see there's just the clips like these on there that grab onto the case. All right, then you can see there's the SSD, there's a NVMe slot. This is M.2 NVMe, and then there's another slot here for M.2 SATA or NVMe. Then you can see the speaker cable. The speaker connects here. To remove these, you just grip the corners and then you kind of wiggle it and you pull it out. And then the cable for the speaker, I believe it runs all the way along under the battery because there's another speaker here and it connects. Actually, it connects on its own thing. So there's this another speaker connector there. I wonder where... Oh, I see. There must be another speaker somewhere because this connector is only for the black and white. So there's a red and black one. Let's see here. I don't really want to take this all apart since it's a customer's laptop and I'm kind of just fixing, finding out what's wrong with it. So, yeah, it looks like that's for the other speaker. So, there must be another speaker hidden somewhere here for this. Okay, and then you got the RAM. So, I'm pretty sure it's DDR4. Um, this, I hate these uh, Kingston ones. They don't really tell you what it is but just from the way this looks i'm pretty sure this is ddr4 okay let's see yeah they don't really give anything i guess you can look up these model numbers and you'll you'll be able to find what type it is all right then you got the lcd connector here to remove that you basically just um pull on this blue tabby thing it might actually be yeah yeah, you would pull on the blue tab and then the connector would come out from there. Then you got the fan connectors here. Same thing, you just get the edges and wiggle them out. And other fan is connectors hidden under this. Um, everything else looks to be part of the board except for the wireless card. Just like every other wireless card, you pull on the back of the tail of the wire. Um, and then the battery connector here. Um, sorry, I should have mentioned earlier, but if you're going to mess with other stuff, you probably want to remove the battery first. Um, most of the time, it won't be an issue unless you drop something metal or something conductive and fry something. But um, to be safe, you can remove the battery and then hold the power button a few seconds to drain the power. Usually 30 seconds is good. But um, there's not much else to this laptop. Everything is soldered to the board. So that's pretty much it. 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave a leave them in the comment section below. If this video helped you, um, please help me out by liking and subscribing. Um, and that'll really help me out. Um, in the future, I'm considering doing a kind of laptops, uh, laptop basics. So that way, all the types of connectors and stuff are in one place easier to figure out. So look forward to that. And thanks for watching again. Bye.